Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm painting the Great Zanzibar from Zombicide Green Horde. So once again, I primed this one in Army Painter's White Primer and start off with some Fire Slayer Flesh. And of course, that's for his skin. And that's the Citadel Contrast color. Don't forget to visit multizone.ca and use Easterling as a promo code to receive 10% off your online purchase. Alright, moving on to Succubus Red from the D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint set. I'm not sure if this is the Undead paint set or the Underdark paint set anymore, I can't remember. Uh, however, I'm using this on his cape thingy, uh, and all those little squares get done piece by piece, and the little tails coming out of his, I don't know what they're called, I mean his coat, his jacket. But yeah, it was painstakingly annoying to do all those little squares in red.
But finally having all the red done, I move on to another contrast color called Ivandan Yellow. And this is just for the orb on his staff because it had like a nice glow to it. And these contrast colors seem to pull that out really nicely. So then we move on to some Basilicum Gray, another contrast color by Citadel Paints. And this of course is for his staff. I move on to some Agaras Dunes from the Citadel Contrast Colors. And this is just for like his belt and the little trinkets on it, like pouches. And he has a rope. And it gives it a nice little contrast. Again, these on white, these contrast colors are amazing. Alright, now to finish off his pants, uh, we're going to finish off with some Talisar Blue, and this is like I said for his pants, and that like cover bun or whatever that is, loincloth, and so anywhere that on his pants that wasn't red is going to be covered in this color, and this again, it's a contrast color by Citadel Paints. Alright, you know, using some Apothecary White from Citadel Contrast Colors. I like to use this on white because sometimes it gives it just a little shading. You'll see it turns a bit gray here, but it actually does just cover up the white nicely and give it, like I said, a shading effect to it. And it just finishes it off. I mean, you don't see it much on white, but you see it when you look at it in person. Then some Claymore Blade from Zombie Side Black Plague. And this is just for the tip of it, like a spear like on his staff. Then we move on to Zombie Side Invaders Gun Black from the Army Painter. And this is for his hair, his eyebrows, and his nice mustache. And move on to some combat gold from the zombie side invader paint set from army painter and this is for all his bling his jewelry his necklaces his rings uh, yep And then I use an Army Painter's Wash Red Tone uh, so that we put this on a red, all the red spots, just to make it pop a little bit more, give it a little shading at the same time. So that's the Zan great Zanzibar done. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.